Matter of fact, you know what? You better go to church on Sunday, God. Me, you need to apologize for something. <laughs> Boy, you got a hammer down, Mr. President. Nine zero four, uptown, buck ten. You know who it is? Prime Minister of Twampo Six, Bill Gates County, beautiful downtown Seattle, Washington. Got down. He's still on the key. Hey, Prime Minister, you take care of me until we do it again, and I hope to do that real soon. Worldwide, Prime Minister, your president. Hey, Prime Minister, your president, everybody, president. Uptown Cincinnati said, I'll see you. Bye, bye, bye. Hey, President, I got to tell you, man, what happened, man? That cat making contract man keyed down. He said, don't swell his head up. Contract man keyed down said, that's my friend, but don't swell the president's head up now. <laughs> Lord knows I'm just trying to keep it 100. Hello, contract man. Hello, president 904. You know who it is. Prime Minister in the Twomp 06 right back. to see if you can walk uphill with about three or four hundred pounds on your shoulders, man. Lord have mercy that cat bigger put a ham out there. <laughs> hey, President, you know I kept it 100 and the water gate is rolling. Proud but it's to right back. since I was 15 years old, man. Don't you try that trick with me. Well, I guess I ain't got no conditions in the northeast corner. <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book, Cotton Bigger. Try that on somebody else. Talk about, I guess I ain't got no condition. Why you had my radio in the corner? Get your ass out of there. Prime minutes ago. Say he's coming to want to play with y'all, man. That's <laughs> so contract man, president, and whoever that was in the northeast corner a minute ago. We got a new player in the cornfields, and Lord knows my Watergate does not lie. Pride but it's in the corner, right back. Yeah. 
Gadao. That was rough right there. Now, I think homie in Indiana, but I couldn't hear his handle, man. He kept saying, ain't nobody but something seven in the cord field, and I couldn't make him out. And I got, maybe I should plug these headphones in, man. Y'all running tight. My dad used to say, y'all sound like rattlesnakes in a fruit jar, cotton nigga. I had to put my headphones in, man. I'm ready to call me a fight. Let me get my ref. Let me get my whistle in my shirt, man. Let me get these stripes on and call this fight prime minister right back. just get his handle he's on top but not by much our contract man in there presidents in there my boy in the cornfields in there neck and neck rattlesnakes in a fruit jar and the water gate is rolling so if i lied charge it to my head not my heart i got that from my homeboy soul dog the referee, Prime Minister Nakona. Come on! president I got some of that we got a new player in Tennessee we got a new player in Tennessee I couldn't make out everything he said but that cat make it got a hammer Lord have me. hey president I heard you but I'm gonna tell you man it was like a cloud well I don't want to cuss a cloud or you know what hit my windshield <laughs> and I'm trying to turn on the wipers and get this shit off my windshield <laughs> Yes, it is. Pride, but it's the top side of God's country. Right back. <laughs> saying papa something or something like that i got that one but then we got a player coming out of georgia damn we got somebody coming up out of georgia trying to get up on this gate but it's all good i got room i got room i drive a school bus man not a cadillac i got room let's go <laughs> any time cat nigga 229 you keyed down and said it can we get some conditions down here in the magnolia while you looking in the cornfield well lord knows i keep it 100 and all i had was 229 in my radio you know who a ti is your boy the amigo with the great big ego taking sole control of this kona 229 in the mag minister right back <laughs> Man, it go. 
only one I heard was Superman right there at the end. Other than that, it was 40 pounds of noise. And y'all will see it. I got a video game going. I wouldn't lie to you. 40 pounds of noise. Superman, hello to you, brother. Welcome to this heat. Private minutes in Northwest Kona are gone. <laughs> I got somebody over there, Indianapolis, Indiana, but 229 was on top, but not by much. Now I got my beam straight east. I ain't, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna cheat him, but uh, he got me thinking about it. <laughs> Hello, 229, and I heard somebody in Indianapolis. You sounding good? I should call my homie and see where he at. Hello, 229 in the mag. Proud Bittister with the handshake. Come on. say, Cat Megan, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, man. You know I got my beams over there in Indianapolis and the cornfields over there, you know. And here you come up in here just snatching my talk show. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Now do it again. Prime Minister right back. <laughs> You know, I'm going to come back if you get it out there where I can get it, bro. 1952. I heard it, and I had to flip it. Prime Minister, the realest referee in America, right back. <laughs> gentlemen there's a new player <laughs> uh, a new sheriff in town and he goes by the name of Marsha Dillon Lord have mercy took my radio over I keeps it 100 Marshall Dillon you are the new boss minister right back <laughs> take your advice that's exactly what I'm gonna do stay right here me and the sweet thing gonna put something on the smoker and that's it ain't no friends coming around here with all them damn boogers and coughing <laughs> hey man if sneaky Pete built it you ain't got nothing to worry about let me repeat that let me repeat that hey hey Dylan and you know I'm a builder I keep it 100 though if Sneaky Pete built it, you ain't got a damn thing to worry about. Marshall Dillon, Prime Minister, got down. I ain't trying to leave no air between you and keep me and me dropping into D.C., man, because I don't want none of them kind of niggas to try to come here, Rose Prime. <laughs> if it ain't reject, and a few of us out here, this is the way me and you're going to do it back and forth, because Sneaky Pete built all of this over here. 
sarcastic <laughs> I would say it's smoking but everybody says that let's just say let me use a ham term you ever heard them ham operators when they say full quieting when you key down it's full quieting I'm keeping it 100 Marshall Dillon that damn sneaky Pete is doing it homie the minister right back. Hey, I'm sure some of them by now the quick ten and some of them think they got a chance. So I'm gonna release the man. Hey man, I just came to speak for him. I was dead cold when I heard you. I had to swing the house and wait on the country to look live to get warmed up and I'm running a little bit now. I'm just loafing though, mate. I ain't putting no plate weight on it. I ain't halfway up. Hey Pride, see if they told me a kid, if it break, he'll fix it. But I'm not broken yet, I'll see ya. Ooh, wait. Oh, my goodness. Wait, wait till you see this. Hey, um, I'm gonna I'm upload this thing tonight. I hope it's recording. That would really piss me off. I'm gonna upload this thing tonight and wait till you see it. That's all I'm gonna say. When you see it, you gonna smile. And matter of fact, hey, do me a favor. When you see this Watergate, take Sneaky Pete out to eat. He like chicken. I talk to him a lot. Take Sneaky Pete out, get him some chicken. It's on me. I'll pay for it, 410. <laughs> shame of yourself man oh lord the law man <laughs> i swear man i know these cat niggas think i'm in love with you now I, I don't get down like that i keep it 100 but i know they think i'm in love with you but man let me tell you something bro i keeps it 1000 that somebody was riding with you at the start of that key and you just walk them down like Carl Lewis. <laughs> Real talk. All right, man, I'm going to pull back for a minute because my homies up here in the corner want to do some talking. I'm going to sit back and uh, let this big water-cooled 40,000 cool down. Prime Minister, the biggest station on the west side, bar none. Period. Minister's gold. <laughs> Hey, lawman, I'm going to tell you like this. That's what she said. It ain't the biggest that matters. It's the best. You might not have the biggest hammer down there, so you say. But coming to me, it's the best. You ain't talking me down off it either. Trying to be modest. Don't try to be modest, God nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know you a good man, man of the Lord, but don't you try to be modest. You the baddest cat nigga on the radio. That's
That's what I'm saying today, and the Watergate will prove it. I'm sorry if people think I'm politicking, but the Watergate will be uploaded. Minister gone. Hey, Prime Minister. Are you actually talking to a man that's calling himself Slick Stick Willie? <laughs> Is that? <laughs> hey, what are you talking about, 144? I did, Kelly. Troublemaker. Hey, Troublemaker. I heard old boy over there in Indiana, man, 144, talk about somebody named Slick Stick Willie. <laughs> Y'all ever heard of somebody named Slick Stick Willie in Mississippi that break? I couldn't hear him. I didn't boys in Mississippi got my radio. No right, he's on 144. Indiana, proud minister got down. <laughs> Ten right, you troublemaker. Ten right, you troublemaker. I'm going to say bye right back, homie. You got a big ass ham out there, man. You must be running uh, about five or six watts out there, man. You know, full legal limit is four watts. Hello, troublemaker with that big ass hammer. Minister got down. <laughs> Whew, 
it was rough that time. Damn, I couldn't pull nobody out. Oh my goodness. Alright, let me let me ease back and see what's happening. See who's talking where. Yes, it is. The Prime Minister top side of God's country got down. <laughs> all my condition. Hell, I couldn't hear nobody, man. Hell, you mean you lost all your condition and you just gonna unkey? Get on out of here and burn up some electricity. Come on. I wish I could sing. Why you over there at grandma's house? You got that hammer down at grandma's house too. <laughs> I hope you paying that electric bill. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> you burning up grandma's electricity. All right. <laughs> all right, man. Let me get out of here. I got somebody standing here making fun of me. <laughs> get out of here. All right, all right, while you at grandma's house, let me get these cat out of my radio room. Yeah, don't, don't you do that again, man. You got me in trouble, bruh. Hey, you know who? You got me in trouble, man. I got two texts talking about is he really that bad? Them cat niggas hit me up with a text message to ask me, was you that bad? I told him, he got mad at me, but I told him, I said, if you got to text me to ask, he done already whipped your ass. All right, homie, I'll see you. All I got to say, <laughs> everybody know what the hell I'm talking about. Everybody I feel you, homie. I feel you. They got to do something, or they could keep sending me test messages. <laughs> hey, if they want to talk, they can send me text messages. Because Lord knows he ain't going to keep with you. <laughs> oh, look, there go my text again. I see you. <laughs> want to find another hobby, man. You know, when Captain Megan start throwing garlic around the house and begging Jesus for airtime, you know what I mean? Hey, hey, Dylan, when they get to that point, man, just, just go on to find another hobby. Checkers, chess, pinball, old Mortal Kombat, you know, one of them old games or something. Find something else to do. 
But leave this cat make on that big sneaky Pete alone. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get on out of here and chill, run to Watergate and listen to some other people talk. Got two or three people think they whooping me right now. That's interesting. Hmm. Prime Minister walking his great big water-cooled skull cracker in the corner is 10 6. <laughs> It is a nightmare. I was going to say, I'm glad you didn't say dream. He might be thinking he's dreaming, but when he wake up and see his nose and lips is missing, he'll know it was a nightmare. I'm gone. What's up with you, big boss? Down there in Texas? Damn, long time no here. I got my beam somewhere between uh, Michigan and the cornfield right up in that area. I ain't even moved it. Hello, big boss in the horn. If I can get in your conditions, probably better to got down. <laughs> Hey, hey, big boss, where you get that deep voice from, Cotton Picker? Where you get all this audio from? He, I thought you was going to keep talking about, Hey, Prime Minister, big boss! <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound like Reverend Ike to me. Where you get all that bassy-ass audio, like, talking to me like you a tough guy or something? Hello, my homie in Texas, Prime Minister, right back. <laughs> I don't know who this is getting in my business telling somebody I'm talking to Big Boss while you kidding and taking him out of my radio is slander, Cotton Bigger. Now, if you want to take somebody out of my radio, you talk to me. Quit talking to them mud runners. <laughs> Let's just say he's in Indiana there, 410. <laughs> Tennessee. Okay, I'm out of here. I ain't crazy, man. I'm just trying to kick it. I'm just trying to kick it. This cat making talk about who is that texting you about me. I'm not going to tell you that man in the cornfield texting me, talking about. Oh, he ain't that bad. I just ain't got my big box in line. Now, you got long skip, and your big box ain't in line. That just tell me you got it in line. You just getting your ass whooped. I'm just keeping it 100. Pride, but it's the gut down. Hey, fine. Tell him to get in line. Don't feel bad. He ain't dogs. What is getting his behind? So I define me. <laughs> Hey, 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 Dylan, how come he ain't texting me asking me for Sneaky Pete's phone number? Man, that's what he should be doing. Go get a box of chicken and text me and get Sneaky Pete's phone number there, 14. <laughs> if they want to you Say if he want to win a uh, win, that's who he better call. I too gotta get he. Ah, uh, he texted me, called me a mf. <laughs> hey Dylan, he just texted me and called me a mf and started laughing about. <laughs> Don't like to talk to me, man. I forced him to talk to me today, cause you know I'm gonna get 
you know, he said, how come some of lose a whole lot of friends when you was in that, in that scrum and headed out, out west, out east, and he had to talk to me and uh, call the fight. So he don't like to talk to me no more. He hung up and get me off the radio. So, Prime, I'm going to leave. Go to help my nephew see which one he stands he getting in. I'm 10 I'm going to turn the band loose. I'll see y'all. Right, Dylan, it's been fun, brother. I gotta make me one quick phone call on a serious side, make me an appointment, and I'll be back in about 10 minutes. Hey, uh... He sure got a deep voice, Cat Me. I'ma just leave it at that. <laughs> I know we ain't got that ideal mother nature, but you sure got a little bass in your voice when you talk to me, Cat Me. What holster you wearing? I know you got a holster on your ass. What what you carrying today, big boss? I see you. <laughs> Well, when you look at this Watergate, you ain't gonna say that. No conditions with 40 dBs out there, cat nigga. You know I know what's up. I know what time it is, though. But I'm impressed. I like what I see. Put that 45 to the side, cat nigga. You don't need it. You home. Catch you later, big boss. Minister, 10-6 for about 10 minutes. <laughs> out of there, man. You damn near broke my needle. <laughs> Did you see how fast I keyed? You ought to know. You'll see it. Get your loud, bassy voice, 45, carrying ass out of here. I'm back dealing with my company. Damn! Oh, I didn't know. I was just cruising this thing. Catch you later. Whoa, I'm not in the 
the color of. I'm gonna tip my hat, I'm gonna walk away, scat. Hey, minister, look at me, I'm looking at you, I'm boo boo boo. I don't know how you Damn, boy. Whoo, wee. <laughs> I like what I see, Cat Biggie. You gonna see it yourself. You gonna see it yourself. I'm going to have, when you see it, I'm going to have your wife slap that damn smile off your face, too. Because I know you're over there laughing, Cat Biggie. Pig feet eating, Cat Biggie. <laughs> Catch you later, my homie, Big Boss. You know who it is? A Northwest Coda, 10-something. Oh, you, my friend. Where do you live? Where do you live, man? Hey, minister, you learned from the best, and I did the rest on that Cat Biggie there. I'm going to tell you all about it. Minister in the corner, look at me. I was looking at you. And I saw it. I saw it, Cat Mickey. I saw every tiny snippet of it. Lord have mercy. I'm glad you my friend. There's two things I'm glad of right now. I'm glad you my friend. And I'm glad your black ass live in Texas. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> click, click. I see you. Body mobile, I keyed to say I got it, man. I heard you, bro. But Big Boss had a hammer down, man. But you know what's happening. I just want to let you know I heard that wide body mobile. Prime Minister 10 7. <laughs> Cat Biggie, I ain't heard you in a month of Sundays, Cat Biggie. Probably two months of Sundays. Hello, good doctor. Sorry, man. I was out here talking to some company, man. I apologize. Hello, Mr. Good Doctor. Long time no here. Minister right back. <laughs> say may I talk he said it'd be nice if you just you know tip your hat to him and say hey man uh, can I get a couple words in <laughs> he was trying to be nice good doctor but if you know big boss like I know I ain't never seen him nice I seen the cat make a slap a man on Christmas day don't pay no attention to that cat make it cuz he crazy good doctor hello to you big boss Sit your ass down, please. I'm gone. <laughs> Now 
nice guy. Lord have mercy. Boy, I ain't never heard a big old bigger crock of shit in my life. Talk <laughs> Nice guy, I'll see you. <laughs> I cannot sing, but if I could, I would sing all by yourself. Because that's what you're doing, man. Lonely in my radio when you key. Ain't nothing else out there, man. I'm telling it like it is. Big boss in Texas, you 10 7. Prime Minister Northwest Kona, I'm 10 7. See ya. out there talking and stuff and they texting me talking about they whooping me somewhere I don't know maybe they are whooping me I don't know I get whooped just like everybody else get whooped cornbread hello to you brother turkey day wave to you I'm gonna take this thing 10 something let this water cool off and then turn it all off prior bit of 10 something <laughs> again and let you know you got to go on hold. I see you. is hot now. Hey, it's supposed to be cold, but talking to your black ass, I bet you it's boiling now there, right? <laughs> But your electricity definitely ain't off, Cotton Mega. How you gonna sit up here and drop a hammer like that and say your electricity's off? Lord have mercy. Boy, I tell you, man. Woo! Fish stories. All right, I gotta go up to some. <laughs> Now, I, I can tell the way you talking, you ain't going to be here long. So I done learned your style. See, I start calling you, and then somebody going to cuss me out. And then you're going to leave me out here in the middle of nowhere getting cussed out. I know how you do it, Cotton I done seen this movie before. <laughs> Hello, you know who? I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Get real upset and mad on that side. Nobody's mad at it. Jimmy, I'm like, you know, 
all five started. Look, what you do when you go camping? You get the five started, you stand back and watch the blades, that tempo. I get the fire started. You start you start trying to warm up and you say, hey man, I'm gonna run to the car real quick and grab something. You get up in the car, and then you tell me there's a bear behind me. That's how you be doing it, Cat Bigger. Hello, Arthur, Minister Gall. I do like some of these Cat Bigger left home. Left home to get a pack of cigarettes. A uh, loaf of bread and never show back up. That's what I be doing. Take care, Minister Bobby Lena. Glad to hear you back by the band. Minister in the corner. I'm in the big horn. I'm getting down. <laughs> hey, 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 King Arthur, I'm going to say this before you leave, man. I'm going to say this before you leave, man. Sweet thing, heard you say that. And talk about you one of them guys that leave the house and never come back home. She said, oh, shit, I had one of them. <laughs> oh, Lord, catch you later, King Arthur, I'm out. Hey, wait a minute. I, I just thought about something. Wait a minute. Hey, hey, King Arthur. I'm about to go 10-7, but I'm going to run in here in the kitchen. And I'm going to say, was his name King Arthur? Hell, I just thought about something. I'm sitting up here laughing, cat nigga. You might have you walked out of my woman and left her here with me. <laughs> Hello, King Arthur, Prime Minister Gold. Jim, he said he was getting kind of lonely. Go on and walk over there to the door and see what he's working with. She get out and walk to the door and you say she never get a ride back home? Is that what you said? Yeah, look, look, this is the reverse of an indecent proposal. Hey, Minister, this is the reverse of an indecent proposal. Just grab them off and leave me at the door on that side. I'm gone. I'll holler. I'm just out. Yeah, you know, I heard a rumor. I think it was Juice that told me you wrote a book. You wrote a book about that subject, and the book was called You Can Have Her. That's what it was. You Can Have Her. <laughs> Lord King Arthur, you ruthless. I'm 10-7. Hey, Prime Minister, I got another book I'm getting ready to come out with. I'm writing this book about Juice myself. Hey, Prime did you know Juice had a... <laughs> Did you know Juice had two brother laws but ain't no one problem about the book? Juice don't have no sisters at the book. Hey, hey, I ain't no genius. Okay? I didn't go to college, but even I could figure that out there for ten. <laughs> What's I'm doing? Oh, man, I can't see my mirror. <laughs> you got me over here crying, man. Hello, King Arthur. I got company, man. Let me pay attention to these people. They over there in my studio. I, let me whisper. I don't really know these dudes. You know, they might be in my studio stealing shit. So let me, 
Let me let me go in here and act like I'm uh, just passing through real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> Well, you know what I did, but there is uh, one of them is from Mississippi. Now, what we did, we made sure we took all that uh, fried chicken and put it out there on the table. And then we put salad in the fridge. Man, that Mississippi boy going to look in that fridge and be like, what's that? <laughs> I'm like, don't worry about that green stuff. You just eat the chicken there, right? Uh, back on up. Look, he's looking at the refrigerator and see that salad. He going to say, you must be raising cows over here something. <laughs> <laughs> man, hey, hey, King, what you trying to say, man? You trying to say homeboy gonna look in my fridge and see that salad, and he gonna uh, think I'm a little a little funny? He, <laughs> he, gonna, he, gonna, he think I go to the gym with a tight tank top on there? <laughs> You know, I just thought about something. We got a possum problem. You know what? Let me I, let me offer this boy a pellet gun. I got a little 22 around here. Maybe he'll take care of my possum problem there, right? You don't need no gun. You don't need no gun. Well, you say, King, he won't even want to come back in the house. I said, no, man, I just give me a tent and a barbecue grill. I'll stay out of here for the next couple of weeks. I'll be possum free. All right, man, let me get out of here, man. Go in here and deal with these cats because they in there laughing. They don't know I'm talking about them. They don't know CB talk. So they laughing, wondering what I'm saying about possum. He don't know I'm talking about his ass. <laughs> All right, catch you later, King Arthur. I'll be back in about 20 minutes, about. Tell you right, Brian, but look, I'm going to give you a note for us, a future reference. The next time you come over and you feel like I do my brother, I win on the way in, and I win on the way out. If he doesn't gain any kind of weight when he gets ready to leave, he's going to have to strip down. Bye, bye, I'll see you, bye. That's a good idea right there, man. And I got one of them scales, you know, to count them screws. You know, you weigh one and you you get a, uh, what they call that, a tear, T-A-R-E. And then I'll throw the other one because they look about the same size. So when they leave, they get to step on that scale. If they say it's two and a half cotton pickers, somebody got to get naked there, right? Yeah. Somebody took an element. Somebody got an element in their cotton picking pocket, so you better watch it. <laughs> Take care of your gas and bubble on your way now. Menace in the cola. I'm in these bad lands. I'll see ya. Thank you. Bye-bye. Tenray, man. That was uninterrupt, uninterrupted convo, bruh. Been a long time. Good to hear you. Mr. King Arthur in Texas, you know who a TIA is up here in Bill Gates County, the 206. Proud bit us to smack dab in the middle of Bill Gates County. Right next to Amazon, 10 something. 
Sneaky Pete. Get your butt out of there, Dylan. I thought you was done. Hey, cornbread. I gotta get down there and see y'all, man. When this, when this, uh, when they bring out that vaccine, I'm going on a tour. And every one of you cat makers better take me out to eat or I'm gonna spread bad rumors about all y'all. Cornbread, I'll see you up to something. Cornbread is my conscience, man. You so you know I ain't got no good conscience. Hey, Prime. medicine of corn, I'm rocking on the mail. <laughs> ah, ah, hey, hey, cornbread, let me ask you a question, man. Do you know Marsha Dillon? Do you know Marsha Dillon well, cornbread, that breaker? Huh? you their conscience or something like that and said, you know, uh, well, I just want to make sure, are you, <laughs> are you friends with, with Marsha Dillon that break? Hey, Soul Snatcher. I snatch souls. Hey, Mr. Corn, I'm rocking on the mail. Yeah, Tinra, I heard you, Soul Snatcher, and I heard Cornbread, but man, King Arthur keyed down, and yeah, I don't know what he did. I think he just rolled over. He probably dropped a mic and rolled over or stepped on it and keyed down and mumbled some shit and then left me sitting here. He do that, he do that a lot now. He do that a lot. <laughs> All right, a hey, soul snatcher. Catch you later. Cornbread, catch you later. A hey, uh, King Arthur. Tracy's in here. I'm going to tell her what you said. I'm going to tell her what you said. <laughs> catch you later, King Arthur. I'm out. Dear King, I say good evening and Thanksgiving away, Big on. Every now and then I... Oh, baby, you got to close that door. <laughs> she opened the amp room up, man. King, she done opened the amp room up. I just made sure there was no possum in there. She said she was making sure there wasn't no possum running around in that amp room because I got the door open. I said, well, if he in there, he'd be squealing in a minute. Hey, King, that damn uh, uh, um, Marshall, too, told me to tell you what's up, Cat Megan. So I didn't really hear what either one of y'all said because she come in here and opened the door and all I heard was the water chiller going <laughs> But she told me to tell you what's up and so did Marsha Dillon. King, I see you. I'm gone. <laughs> Do I know his little brother? 
Tracy just walked back in there. You talk about tell her to get the possum. <laughs> Man, she ain't gonna grab no damn possum. If she do, don't bring it in here. Take it outside and bury it. I don't wanna see that guy bigger. All right, Dylan. I didn't hear King that time. I think uh, I think that was uh, Soul Snatcher, what he called himself. He was trying to say something about you, then you keyed up and took him out of my radio. So that's the way it went down. See y'all in a minute. I'll be right back. <laughs> What do you say, King? You said if he's snatching snow, uh, snatching souls, you know you going to something. <laughs> All right, I, I got the end of that because I was talking to Tracy. Now listen, hey Dylan, hey Dylan and King, listen to this. Guess what Tracy coming here to tell me? We talking about possums joking around. The critter guy is here. Man, the damn exterminator! He come over here and get the critters. Let me go out here and talk to his ass about possum just in case. I'm gone. I told Tracy, get the possum, get the possum, get the possum. She brought the white person to you, the critter guy. Take care of my team. I want to know about some possum. You know about some kind of big possum. Take care of my team. I'm in the center corner, Miss 18, back where I come on the mail. Tim Ray 18, I heard you, man, when uh, Dylan got up. Hello to you, A.T. Hey, Dylan. She says she ain't, she wouldn't get a possum with a pair of welding gloves on. She says she ain't touching that cat bigot. All right, let me go out here and talk to my critter man. I'll be right back. My big brother Dylan, he usually pay for my haircut, but that kind of pick up been late on his job. Take care, uh, Mr. Minister in the corner, Miss 18. Well, I want to be on the deal in, too. Tim Ray 18, you said Dylan usually pay for your haircut, but he stood you up? Hey, Dylan, 18, you been paying for 18's haircuts? If, you, <laughs> if you're going to give him a haircut, can you at least pay for it that break? The Northwest, now the list got bigger. See, he got old. He used to be younger. He would go in, he paid for his haircut, bring back my change. Then the cut just stopped going to get the haircut just started stiffing me out my money, so now I'm done with him. <laughs> hey, 18. 18, you've been slipping on Dylan a little bit, man. He said he's been paying for your haircuts. You've been slipping on the money a little bit. What's up with you? What's up with you, 18? Dylan say you a little uh you a little tardy on the ducats there, folks. Oh yeah. He's still on the key. Okay, 18, I got it wrong. He said that he was giving you $20 to get your hair cut, cut make it. And you wasn't getting your hair cut. You was walking around with a do-rag on your head, but you kept coming by getting the damn haircut money. <laughs> he said he wasn't getting his money's worth, man. He give you $20 to get your hair cut. And next time he see you got a do rag on. Hello, eighteen, Prime Minister Ten Seven. Right, 18. I hear you, homie. All right, man. Let me take off, man. I got to get out here and talk to this dude on the reel. 18, sounding good. Dylan, crazy. King Arthur, crazy. All y'all complete nuts. I had a ball. I'll see y'all. I'm 10 7. Hey, proud for you. Get out of Hey, 
Craig, King of the South. What's going on, man? You sound better now. The other day, you had a big carrier, but your audio wasn't there. Now you got that audio up there with that carrier. That's what I'm talking about. Hello, King of the South in Georgia. I'm going to talk to my bug man. I'm out. Right, bro. Ten Ryan, hey King. When this uh when that vaccine come out, you know where we going. You know where we going. We're gonna get old Tommy Stevens over there and some of the homies and you know exactly where we going. King of the South, you know who it is. I'm seven up. Papa Doe. If you hanging out with seven six six, you going to the cat house. If you hang out with seven six six, y'all going to the cat house. I'm taking them. Oh, you must not have heard. Hey, uh, you must not have heard. I bought all the cat houses in California. Now, you know, the rumor was that Juice is a coochie doctor. I heard him say that to Switchblade. So if he's a coochie doctor, I bought all the cat houses, and I said, Juice, you got to be on cleanup detail. That right, yeah? That's kind of rough. Well, you done broke 766 hard. You done broke this kind of big hard. Because he still owe me money for what I brought him out the last time. Hey, fine. I'm going to get my money back since you done bought them all up. I'm out. Man, the big box. Oh, hey, key. Never mind. I thought the box didn't key. Yeah, man. Uh, he sold them to me, man. It was, uh, I think it was 32 of them. Thirteen dollars a piece. And uh, Juice went in there with a hazmat suit, a garden hose, and some tweezers. He said he had to clean them coochies up there, right? <laughs> Stop that. Just stop that. Dylan, stop that, man. You got a repeater. That's what it is. Let me go outside. You got a repeater in my yard or something. You doing something cheating. Get your ass out of there, Dylan. You don't make me burn this stuff up over here. You got my company mad. <laughs> Bug man is waiting on his money. Marshall Dillon, yeah, you still doing it. I'm 10-7. Oh, I ain't had no doubt, man. I told you I ain't turned loose yet. I'm just playing. I ain't had no way to turn loose. I got to have somebody come whoop me real good before they find out what I got left. And they got this one in one. I'm out of here. Let's get off. Hey, Big Stick, Willie. Hey, Willie. Hey, Big Stick, Willie. You still read the mask? I'm out there talking about you. They call you a cat skinner. I'm out of here, Big Stick, Willie. No copy, no contact on Big Stick, really? No copy, no contact, no deposit, no return on Big Stick, really? Switch, blade with no condition, blackout.
No power, no power, not enough power to get down. Can't put no toe show with them kind of numbers. Take care, pull you in with my tail. Around potato town, switch with no condition, got down. And the king got down. God, dog, plastic. Hey, plastic, what's in your wallet? Take your phone, you little plastic. You said, blade, 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 blade. Sound like you in a shootout for me. Hey, plastic, sound like you getting in a shootout. But hell, you hollering, blade, 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 blade. That's my name. I know my name. Call your name, Plastic Switch Blade Blackout. All you said is all I got, no doubt about that. You have a blessed one also, bro, and have a cow making show. Take care of Pony Lady, my plastic, for being his eye. Smoking right here. Hey, Plastic, there's a whole lot of soldiers out there. Can't smoke in my ears and have a camera in Rio. No, you ain't gonna run the rest right now. 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 And switchblade blackout. Take care of plastic. Switchblade blackout. <laughs> I don't give a damn if you're talking off a coat hanger. Huh? If you get in my radio, I'm gonna talk to you. Take care of plastic. Switchblade blackout. Switchblade. So I got a bad habit. I don't smoke dope no more. But I got a bad habit of talking to my dear radio and never show. Take care of plastic, Swiss blade, we'll play. Bye bye. Yeah, I had to quit, man. Dude, I'm working for the government. I had to quit smoking. I quit smoking right handed in 1975. I quit smoking left handed in 1985. That's what I heard right before I started my job on for the government. Uh, they did a random, they did a random drug test. Take care of Pony Lady, a plastic switch blade, blade, switch blade. I'll be joining you soon, though, because in Mississippi, they did a test, a marijuana test. I mean, a, mar a medical marijuana. I already got my prescription made up. Pony Lady, a switch blade, blackout. Yeah, who's having that beautiful modulation in Northwest Corner speaking to me? Plastic making it up. Hey, who's that speaking to me in the Northwest Corner? Come on. Man, I can hear y'all saying switchblade this, switchblade that, but I can't even stand here. Nobody. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, we got a little something. Maybe. Yeah, I heard you call my name, man, but I can't catch you. Walk Plastic keep Plastic. <laughs> Plastic is running in the ferris. Plastic keep up saying, y'all said, Plastic trying to talk for y'all. I don't know if he's operating. I don't think he can. I think he's operating a ventricular system. I don't know. I don't know. I think he got a wooden dummy sitting on his lap with his hand up his back. No doubt about that. Pull y'all later. Switch blade. We'll flee. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Oh, I guess they 
good time, Charlie, and about you. Yeah, he's still on the mall. I, can't, I still can't get your name. Who is that? Now, you was on top to tell you something. Yeah, I was going to ride along. He's going to switch lanes. No, he's coming. Come on, you later. Now, I can repeat everything but your name. My brother, what's up? How are you, right? Oh, my goodness, you didn't call your name at the right time. When he got a key, you said, Blade, I'll see you. I can't catch you. <laughs> Rabbit. They don't want me to curse no more, so I can't say rabbit, hey. I can say, hey, no. You can't tell me a private kid up hollering, blade, 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 like he in a freaking shootout. Take care of the mama, what's going on, mama? You got that? Hey, Coach, he's Dr. Bones, Mike. Oh, my boy, I know how I walk it, dog. With a caliper, with a 600 caliper. I used to pass your boys on the interstate. No ride, 21. What? No ride in the northwest coming a good time, Charlie, in the bayou. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, when you were a kid, somebody said somebody moved on the bayou. Oh, my goodness. I, I know. Oh, my goodness. I forgot what you said they call you. But you said one, 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 one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is hilarious. Take care. Bye-bye. Right there, right back, 25. Right there, right back, 20. Yeah, hey, uh, uh, Granger. Hey, uh, Granite, Granger. Uh, is that you? Somebody, somebody's supposed to be calling me. No. Hey, Granger, switch blade on the plane. Yeah, that's what we're talking to. Uh, hey, Granger, switch blade on the plane. Uh, lady at that station that does those, uh, those strikers. Uh, he does a good job on those strikers, uh. Five and nine, five, five. Y'all take care of Swiss Blade Blackout. Good time, Charlie. Good time, Charlie. In the Bayou country, got down. Five, twenty-one. Long time, Jazzy. For life, back, back. It's rough. It's rough. It's rough. Y'all take care. Ain't got no condition. Take care of another North West corner. Swiss Blade with no condition. God bless. Bye bye. Condition by the way I'm receiving. Y'all take care. I'll switch blade with no condition. Peace out. Yeah, you gotta just try something out there, break. You gotta do number go in your pack. You gotta do number go in your pack. Hello to you, DJ. Hello to your DJ Paul and all your Swiss money, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlie, my arm ain't long enough to reach up in that northwest corner. I guess good time, Charlie, long ain't long enough to reach up in that northwest corner. Good time, Charlie, in the bayou. Mr. Good time, Charlie. Good time. In the swamps and the Yeah, DJ, you got it right. My name is Swiss Blade. But you can call me Mr. Swiss Blade. Hello to your DJ. Switch, Blade, we'll play, brother. Yeah, hey, uh, Mr. Williams, this is the Magnolia. Radio Powerhouse Mobile says, 